Welcome back to the Gem Network channel. I'm your host Jasmine and today we'll be talking all about the habits that have changed my life. Thank you to Metatopia for sponsoring this segment and thank you guys, the live audience, for continuing to watch our show. Now let's head straight on in. If you guys have been following me for a while, you might know that one of my biggest issues is remembering to drink water. I'm someone that becomes immersed in whatever I'm doing and I can go without drinking water for a good couple of hours. I think I'm just unconsciously more aware of the bottle when it's right next to me, so I'm more likely to reach out and grab it. So this bottle has really instilled the habit of drinking more water and in turn, I'm more alert and focused. I'm the kind of person that can easily get lost in making a super long to-do list and then I end up accomplishing maybe one or two things out of 10 on there. When that happens, I tend to feel really terrible and unproductive because I wasn't able to stick to my pre-planned schedule, so I decided to do this thing where I'll have three main tasks of the day. They can be small or big, but they're just my main focus. I can have other tasks besides those, but if I don't get to those, it doesn't matter because they're not my main concern. I'm really on and off with my meditating. It's not something that I do consistently because I'll either forget or I just have periods where it's not my main priority. However, just recently, I got back into it because of quarantine and it really gives me a space to be free of my thoughts. I've started using Metatopia for my evening meditations whenever I start to realize that I'm becoming really overwhelmed. This app is free to download and it's available on Android and Apple. I'm currently using the premium version, which gives you access to a larger range of guided meditations. They have a huge selection of topics from dealing with day-to-day -day stress to self-love. A couple of the meditations that I personally use are the ones in the emotions category, so I'll interchange between the topics depending on what I'm feeling on that day. I also like that there's a section for you to track your progress and you're able to write notes about how you've been feeling in terms of your meditation journey so far. If you guys are interested, I will have a link down below, so all you have to do is click on the link to start your free seven-day trial. I used to be the type of person that would hoard a lot of meaningless things. My drawers would be filled with stuff that I always thought I would eventually need, so I would keep it around until I eventually forgot about it altogether. I collected things such as free Cineplex magazines whenever I would go to the theater, or I would just keep a bunch of little trinkets that served no purpose to me whatsoever. Throughout the years, I've gotten a lot better at recognizing what I should and shouldn't keep in my room. It's so, so easy for me to accumulate things, so every once in a while, I'll do a little clean out in order to clear up my physical space. This is the longest standing habit that I've ever had and I honestly cannot imagine my life without it. It's my safe space for me to vent out my feelings and even though I have a very solid support system now, I still turn to journaling every now and then because it calms me down and helps me rationalize my thoughts. I've had diaries since grade two and it's honestly so much fun to look back at old entries to see how much you've grown throughout the years. You're basically time traveling through your old written entries and it's such a fun journey to go down every once in a while. Sometimes we can carry a bunch of physical and mental burdens that end up doing us more harm than good. I used to be the kind of person that wouldn't be able to let go of so many different situations because I hated change and I loved the familiar. But as we get older, we realize that it's so important to step out of your comfort zone and that doesn't just apply to trying out new things, it's also just realizing to let go of old stuff as well. The kind of relationships and things you surround yourself with are always ever changing as time goes by and you have to realize the certain things you keep around. Are they even still worth the space in your physical and mental capacity? I'm the kind of person that makes a playlist for every single situation. Happy situations, sad situations, whatever it may be, I most likely have something for it. I'm always listening to music because sometimes I like to envision myself as a protagonist to some coming of age movie. Music can make you feel inspired, productive, happy, or sad. Don't be afraid to have 30 different playlists. Having an appreciation towards music makes you value the little things in your everyday life. Your quiet early mornings can be transformed into a lighthearted and sunny routine with the perfect perfect uplifting song. Another thing that I've consistently struggled with throughout the years of making a habit is organizing my digital space. It's so easy to forget to organize your folders and photos and videos because you don't physically see them like you would with a messy room. However, I've made it a priority to do this because it's really important that I stay organized with my files, especially given what I do. Since I'm always using my laptop, it actually stresses me out to see a cluttered desktop. I used to hate doing this because it would be so time consuming, but now I actually love it for some reason. Thank you for sticking to the very end of this video. Feel free to share some of your habits down in the comments below. And as always, I'm your host, Jasmine, and I'll see you next time for your regularly scheduled episode on the Gem Network.